Hello there! So, something I've noticed people have asked in the comments section and stuff before is if I can put my interests into my videos more. So I've been thinking about what's the best way to maybe do that. So I've never really watched many like monthly favourite kind of videos before. I thought maybe I could do that with a couple of things that I've come across in the past month. So I guess like technically this is like a, a March favourites video. It's not going to be about clothing or anything like that. So the first thing I want to show you guys is a graphic novel. It's called Lock and Key. It's written by Joe Hill, which who you don't know is actually Stephen King's son. Like I'd be a big fan of comic books and stuff, but the one thing that I really don't like about comic books is that there could be like a hundred million issues or something. And if you don't get it at the very beginning, you're going to probably be a bit lost. Where the thing I like with graphic novels is there tends to be like a beginning, middle and end. And that was the first thing I heard about Lock and Key was that it had officially ended and has an awesome ending. The story follows this family in which the dad has been killed and they've moved back to where he grew up. And basically all this like kind of supernatural stuff starts to happen. I really don't want to give too much away. I really like how it's drawn. Like the, the artwork's really detailed and in some scenes it's just absolutely amazing. And normally I have a problem with like where stories like slow down or they might bring in some kind of stupid love triangle or something. But in this one it's really never gone into that like slump. Like every page of it has kept me super interested. I definitely, I actually cannot recommend this enough. Not only is it one of the best graphic novels I've ever read, it's probably one of the best things in general I've ever read. There's also these kind of like little nods to H.P. Lovecraft in there. But you have to really be paying attention to see them. It really adds to it. There's definitely a, a kind of like Lovecraft kind of spookiness to the whole thing. Oh, it's so good. One thing I will warn you guys about is if you're planning to read it, the story does go to some really dark places. The subject of rape does come up in it at some points and there's a lot of murders. There's some pretty graphic scenes where people get killed and stuff in it. So just a heads up, I still really recommend it. So the next thing I wanted to mention to you is, is I guess it would fall under gadgets or technology or something. It's called a Zano or Zeno or I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, let's just say Zano for now. It's basically a quadricopter kind of drone that can fit in the palm of your hand but the whole thing is you can control it from your phone, like your iPhone or I think it works on Android as well. And basically there's a camera in it that will stream live to your phone so you can see what it sees. And basically it's able to follow you or it looks like moving objects and stuff in real time and record. I don't know exactly how it works yet. It looks like it could potentially be really good for vlogging. If you have it set to follow your phone at a certain distance pointing at you and you have your phone on you and maybe with like an extra mic or something. So they initially had a Kickstarter campaign which they easily got and I think they made way more than they needed so it has all these crazy new features on it now. The actual drone itself is like $150 a euro I think. So it's, it's supposed to be really affordable. I can't help but feel it'll be like having your own personal Navi from the Ocarina of Time. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I think I saw that if you pre-order it now, they can get it to you by July. It looks like a lot of fun and I really can't wait to get my hands on one. So one of my big interests is, surprise surprise, YouTube. And the next thing I wanted to mention to you is, is actually a YouTube channel. They're called Extra Credits. I actually used to watch their videos a long time ago on a website called The Escapist. But then one day all their videos just up and vanish. I don't know what happened with them and that website. I'm guessing there must have been some kind of falling out or something. It's only really recently that someone pointed out that they actually have their own YouTube channel now and they're still doing videos. So they've made videos on how gaming can be incorporated into education or how it can help with therapy or what it can show us about like human empathy. One of my favorite videos that they've made is how if education embraced video games and incorporate it into like learning structures, how much of a difference that can make. I'm gonna link that specific video right here. Even if you're not that big a gamer, definitely look at the channel. I just find their videos really relatable and they're not too complicated or anything. I really think some of the ideas they come up with on that channel could really help people. So I'm not really that artsy a person and I didn't think I'd mention an artist in one of these kind of videos, but I came across this artist called Chiara Bautista. I think I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not totally sure. And describing the kind of stuff she does, I think it's the only time I could use cute and epic in the same sentence. Like if you look through her drawings and her artwork and stuff, you kind of start to see little connections to each painting to each other. And apparently a lot of the imagery and stuff in these paintings is coming from stuff that's affecting her in her own life. But it's made into like this fantastical, crazy, magical little world. I've only really found her properly on Facebook. I don't think she's on Instagram or anything. One thing I really like, whenever she posts a picture, she tends to put a little link to a, a song on YouTube, which I feel helps you get the intended emotion or feeling that she's trying to get across in the picture. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I definitely recommend that you guys go to the description 
and find her on Facebook. And I'll have a link right there. It's no big secret that I'm a gamer and I like playing my video games and stuff like that. The next thing I wanted to show you guys was a game I came across. It's called Town of Salem. It's not super graphically intense or anything. You can actually play it in your browser if you go to their website, but I think it's also on Steam. And basically, it doesn't look like much. I didn't think I'd really enjoy it at all, but when I started playing it, I got super addicted to it. I was playing it like all day, every day. There's really nothing much to it. There's no like moves or anything you have to remember. It's, it all comes down to just chatting with other people. I think it's based on some kind of card game you can play. It's basically you and a bunch of other people all play villagers in a town. At the beginning of the game, you're all assigned jobs, but you don't know whose job is for which person, so you only know your own job. And basically, there's a serial killer in the town, and there's also mafia members, and I think there could be a werewolf. I'm, I'm not sure, I haven't come across that yet. You have to figure out who the serial killer is, and if enough people accuse one person, he gets put on trial, and if enough people accuse him of being guilty, he gets hung or executed. And basically, when that player dies, you find out what their job was. It all comes down to like manipulating and lying to each other, and trying to figure out who does what job. Because you could tell someone what your job is, but you could be lying. If you think that sounds dumb, just go to the website, play a couple of games, and tell me if you don't like it. Because I got super addicted to it for ages. I think my favourite role in it so far has been the godfather of the mafia. It just, you can manipulate people so much. Did I mention it was really fun? Because it's super fun. So, this has kind of been my first attempt at doing it all kind of monthly favorite type video so it's probably not that good but right now it's something I'd like to do more of if you guys enjoyed it you can click the like button and if you want you could leave me comments about stuff you think I should check out maybe I'll do another video about that next month or something and on the other hand if you guys really didn't like this kind of video let me know in the comment below and tell me why because feedback's really important there's gonna be links in the description for everything I mentioned if you'd like to see more of my videos in the future, you can click on the subscribe button. At the moment, I'm putting up one video a week. I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. So I won't be spamming up your newsfeed. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And thanks for watching.